We're down here in South Padre Island, Texas, visiting Isla Blanca Park, a project that was designed by Janak um, Architects out of Corpus Christi. It's the general contractor is Noble Texas Builders, based down here in the valley. And RGV Alliance is the uh, Baltex Block installer. Uh, Dwayne Holloway, you've been uh, the construction support uh, lead on this project. Uh, what can you tell me just uh, over, overall what we're doing out here? Sure, this is a, it's a really cool project. It's a multi-phase. Uh, the building behind us is the Dolphin Cove multi-use facility. That's phase one. Uh, phase two is on the other side of the peninsula here uh, on the very south end of the island. It's uh, DJ, Lerma, DJ Lerma and Sam Piper pavilions. They're basically mirrors of each other. Uh, it's going to be a big, large, radius roof open pavilion, so the beachgoers have a place to go get in the shade, or if it starts raining, they can get out of the rain. Uh, there's going to be bathroom facilities, uh, concession stand, and kitchens is, is incorporated. And that's the, the Baltex portion of those is going to be the, the restroom facilities and the kitchen and concession stands. Right. So this is a, an existing public uh, park with Cameron County. Uh, yep. It's been here for a long time. This is a major renovation. You know, obviously South Padre draws a lot of uh, tourists here and a lot of, lot of things to do on the, on the beach and fishing and things like that. Now, you've got a really tough environment down here. You've got a hot, humid climate, yep. number one, uh, and then you've got the, the additional issue of, of windstorms. So tell me a little bit about structurally and uh, how, this, how this came together to deal with the, all those uh, sure. requirements. Well, the part of the design they wanted was, of course, the storm safety, because we are right, it is right on the water here. Right. And they're you know, they're going to get hit, the storms come through. Uh, it's a pretty substantial concrete structure as well, the, the foundations and, and the columns for the pavilion portions of it. Uh, you know, they wanted the energy efficient part of it. it is hot and humid. They're using a, a good air and moisture barrier with a, a good durable stucco finish on the exterior of the buildings uh, to keep the outside out and the inside right. in. Uh, you know, that that was a part of it. And, you know, just the overall indoor air quality in the enclosed part of the buildings and, and the substantial structure that you get with Baltex. Right. And the repeated cycles of heat and humidity. And then, you know, every once in a while you get a a storm coming through here and you want yep. this uh, this building to last. Tell me a little bit about construction sequencing. I know the pretty significant concrete foundation. Yeah, this, this was this was a pretty major project. That when I first came out, I thought this was actually an elevated structure. It was I could walk underneath the foundation, but they, right. they've since infilled it with sand, uh, you know, brought everything up to grade, but uh, you know, it's it's got a lot of heavy rebar in, a lot of heavy concrete. The Baltex walls are dialed into all of that heavy concrete structure, so you know everything is solid. It's right. not going anywhere. And then the Baltex comes up from from that for for the uh, for the enclosed areas. Right, it's the structure of the enclosed areas. It's supporting the roof, the full structural load, and okay. taking the the brunt of the wind loads when they hit, when they have storm. There's sections of it in the middle of the building that are the moment frames for the shear for the wind loads on the right. entire structure. So I know on this one, the walls went up first and then they put the roof on. For the next two, I understand that they're doing the roof structure first and then they're gonna build uh, the Baltex up underneath that. Tell me a little bit about why they did that and then how they're gonna do that. Yeah, that, that came about as part of the heavy poured concrete roof on those two structures. Okay. Uh, it takes a massive amount of shoring to hold that up while they're pouring it. And uh, the shoring was landing where the Baltex walls were gonna be. And so they had to get that done. They'll remove the shoring, then build the Baltex walls on right. that section. Because on those two buildings, the Baltex walls aren't structural to that roof. Right. They, each one has their own roof that, right. that the Baltex is holding up, but the actual pavilion roof is a separate structure. Okay, so it just made it uh, from, from a sequencing standpoint, the Baltex could go either way, but in this case, it was a lot easier to get the right. get the roof structure up. And first. with with the two facilities, it's essentially four buildings, two on each building, right. and. Okay. Uh, you know, we, I spoke with Jesse last night. Uh, we were talking about some of the sequencing on this, and they, the way they have it phased out, they're going to do the roof on the first one. Uh, we took some pictures. They've got the columns up on the second one already. Okay. He will do one end of the first one while they're finishing at the other end of it, and then okay. he'll roll to that. So he's just going to hopscotch around and get all four, right. all four buildings in order. Uh, it it'll, works out really well for everybody. Okay. Well, good. Well, great, great project. Uh, certainly a great application of Baltex, you know, for, for the thermal envelope, but also, you know, pretty, pretty tough environment. Down Absolutely. Here, you so. know, you've got the cyclic wind loads and, uh, you know, over the years that weakens structures, yeah. it's not going to weaken ours. Well, good deal. I look forward to seeing the rest of this wrap up. So, yeah, it'll uh, be a beautiful you project. You bet. Thanks, Wayne. Uh -huh.